Hi, I'm Fatima and I am talking from my home studio in Curitiba, south of Brazil. In fact, my studio in my, is my eldest son's old bedroom. I love sitting down here to paint and draw. It, it's where I usually spend my afternoons. On the left side, right next to my table and my easel, there is a large window uh, which gives me the natural light necessary to analyze the shapes, textures and colors of a plant. I prefer live models and I usually paint them in real size, very few times, expanding one detail or another. I use photography and executes only as supporting materials. My favorite media is watercolor, where I can better express myself, but I also like the graffiti technique, which I rely on as a study base for watercolor, my true passion. Talking about passion, I am passionate about leaves. I always try to illustrate plants native to Brazil. In fact, it's a commitment to myself. When a plant captures my attention, before I start sketching, I research its origin. I worked as a graphic artist for about 20 years before I became interested in botanical art. At the end of 1995, I did a workshop in botanical art with Simone Ribeiro. She introduced me to the work of Margaret Mee, and I immediately fell in love with her art and the amazing person she was, so fearless and so committed to preserving nature. She certainly became my muse and my inspiration. But it was only two years later when I saw an exhibition by a group of local botanical artists that I decided that this was the kind of art I wanted to pursue for the rest of my life. I said to myself, I must learn how to represent a plant like this, so naturally, so vivid, so real. So in 1998, I took classes with Jana Carneiro in the Botanical Garden of Curitiba. She had just returned from Kew and she told me about the artist's scholarship of the Margaret Mee Foundation and I got interested straight away. She encouraged me to apply for the program. I was just starting botanical art and I was already 44 years old, so I wasn't expecting much. Yet, in May 1999, there I was in London at the Royal Botanic Garden School, living the dream. I worked there under the guidance of Christabel King for six months. She was such a dedicated teacher and she knew how to get the best from me. Until today, more than 20 years late, I can listen to her saying, no rush, take your time, perfection is your goal. At the end of the specialization program, each artist had the opportunity to have a solo exhibition to which Q community and the special guests were invited. Christabel and Michael Daly, the coordinator of the Margaret Mee Foundation's scholarship in London, were overly excited that Mr. Greville Mee, Margaret Mee's husband, with his new wife, were supposed to attend. Mrs. Sherwood also had confirmed her presence. I didn't know who she was, but I assumed, given all the excitement, that she was a big shot. So Mrs. Sherwood arrived. She was such a fascinating figure, elegant, confident. With her spiking blue eyes, she took a good look at the exhibition and quickly chose two works, the Echeverria and the Catraegos. At that time, I did not realize that she was not just acquiring two illustrations for her collection, but opening for me a door to future amazing exhibitions, impeccable publications like this one, and a career to be followed. I have had the pleasure of meeting Miss Sherwood a few more times. In 2008, we met in London at the opening of her gallery at Kew, and then once I came to Rio to see her, 
And finally, we met again in New York in 2016 at the opening of the 95th Annual International ASVA and Art Cultural Society exhibition. I really hope that other opportunities like this will come. Thank you.